Hey everyone and welcome back to this Wikipedia. Today we're looking at the different error codes that may be thrown up by your Bosch, Siemens, Neff, Kenmore, I think a couple of other different brands, uh, dishwasher. So there's going to be separate videos for each error code. Uh, so I'll split these up into a big playlist so you can look at your particular error code without having to look through all the other crap about the rest of the error codes. Uh, I'd suggest hitting the subscribe button now just so you can easily come back to these videos whenever you need to. It's going to make it a lot easier to find them for you. Um, but apart from that, we'll get straight into it. Okay, so the EO8 code relates to water not filling above the heating element. Uh, so the first thing to do would be to check the inlet connection and if all else fails you can remove the front and bottom panel just to check the actual heating element inside to make sure it's all hooked up properly. The inlet pipe, I'll just turn it off and pull that out just so we can have a closer look. And once again keep in mind water will definitely come out of this one. Um, as you can see there's a filter in the end of it which does also come out. Uh, so just double check that that's all clear and everything in the pipe looks clear. There is also another filter in there which does not come out so don't try and pull it out. Um, but once you've established that everything's all good there, um, double check that the error code's still present and if so we'll move on to the next step. All right, now before we do anything else, just make sure that the power to the dishwasher is turned off and also the water to the dishwasher is also turned off. Uh, if you've got an inbuilt unit, you will have to remove your kickboard in order to access the bottom of the dishwasher. So in order to remove the front panel, you need a Torx T15 bit. You can pick these up from your local hardware store or electronics hobbyist store. Uh, so open up the front of the dishwasher and you'll find uh, a total of six Torx bits around the back here. There are also a few up the front that holds the control panel on, but you don't need to remove those. So just remove these six Torx bits. Or Torx screws. Alright, once they're out, close the door back up, grab around the bottom at the sides and just pull outwards. Alright, and now you'll have access to these screws at the bottom here. So again, they're Torx T15's bits. Remove those. And then you can just pull this out. Just be careful because it is pretty sharp. Remove this sound deadening material and now you've got access underneath. So on the E08 code um, it's possibly an issue with the heating element um, so just double check that you know everything's plugged in correctly and securely. Um, also check that all the wiring looks correct. If you've got a multimeter handy, you can probably just probe some of the pins to see what sort of resistances you're likely to be getting. Um, 
but the two outer pins don't seem to be connected at all. In fact, which ones are actually connected? So the two inner pins are reading about 10 or 11 ohms. And the leftmost pin to the second pin on the right is reading 21.1. And the two leftmost pins are reading about 11. Um, the first pin doesn't seem to read anything between the rest of the other ones, though. The very first pin on the right, that is. Um, so yeah, double check those values. Otherwise you may need to replace the heating element. Uh, you can also check this one next to it. Sensor actually. Because the wires are so thin. But let's just values are different, you're likely to need to replace um, the heating element, which is a much bigger job that you'll probably need to pull the bottom of the dishwasher off for. That's about it for this video, I hope it's helped you out. Uh, the only thing I'd ask in return is for you to subscribe to this channel, uh, which you can find a link to in the bottom corner of this video. Uh, there's also another one popping up in the top corner of your screen somewhere around now. Um, so as always, thanks for watching this Wikipedia. Please hit the like button and you can leave me a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. See you later.